Good morning, everybody. It's day seven and we have to hike today, <laughs> regardless of the weather. Um, it's actually uh, woke up to clearing skies this morning. It was really beautiful. I even got to see a slight bit of a sunrise uh, and then the clouds moved back in. But I think it's actually not raining, so the winds are crazy, like 45 to 70 miles an hour. Um, not much visibility, but you know, we're gonna have to move on regardless. So I don't know how much filming I'll do on the way up Washington whenever I do set out because you won't be able to see anything and I'm gonna be freezing anyways. Um, today's just gonna be an adventure. You guys, we made it to the top of Mount Washington. Um, and to be honest, I was a little nervous about the climb up today because of the high winds and the poor visibility, but it honestly was kind of fun. The rock cairns are placed really close together, so the path wasn't that hard to follow. And yeah, I was having fun battling the wind, <laughs> trying to stay upright. Get over how beautiful this is. You know, even if I could go fast over this rocky terrain, I wouldn't want to. This is absolutely stunning. It's spectacular. I'm having the best day. Okay, so I was out of wind for a minute, and I just wanted to say, um, you know, I've heard the horror stories, I'm sure a lot of people have, about the huts and some of the crews, and people have had bad experiences in the past with, I don't know, crews being rude or something like that, but I can't speak for anybody else's experience or other years, but this year's crew at the Lake of the Clouds hut was phenomenal, and I actually was there for the change of 
the summer into the fall crew. So I met two of the crews and everyone was just spectacular. So um, yeah, I have nothing but good things to say about them. Um, and the coolest thing is that when I was there, one of the crew members actually proposed to another one of the crew members. They got engaged, so <laughs> what a neat experience. I wonder how this trail got its name. Yeah, this terrain is very reminiscent of Pennsylvania, but for some reason, I'm not even annoyed at it. So that's Madison Springs hut down there and Mount Madison behind it. I think I'll stop in there for a break before the final push over Madison. Now we go down the mountain. This is extremely slow going. These rocks are really sharp. And we just got back below a tree line in my favorite spruce fir forests. So as bummed as I was, um, losing a whole day of hiking to being pinned down by the weather, um, you know, sometimes you just have to adapt because yesterday was like 40 degrees and driving rain, which, you know, no matter how good your uh, rain gear is, you still get soaked after a while. So then I'd have been soaked and then the wind chill was probably like in the upper 20s maybe at best because there was 70 to 80 mile an hour winds. And that's just hypothermia waiting to happen right there. So I would rather be safe, um, which is what I did. Um, and whoop, I fell down. Um, secondly, you know, if I'd have gone out yesterday and tried to do what I did today, it would have all been socked in by clouds and I wouldn't have seen any of it. And today was absolutely amazing. So I feel so blessed that I actually got to see it. This is a long and steep downhill though. Okay, I've just had a small trauma. What happens if a mosquito goes in your ear and doesn't come out? I'm a little bit freaking out because he went in there and he got stuck in there and I could hear him in there and I could feel him in there and I'm pretty sure he's dead now. He didn't come out. Ew. So gross. Well, I might not know what to do about the mosquito, but I know a decent campsite when I see one. What a good day it's been. I am absolutely exhausted. I'll see you guys in the morning.
Good morning, everybody. It's day eight. It's the last day of this section hike and the sun's coming up. Looks like clear blue skies. I have about five miles to go down into Pinkham Notch um, where I will get picked up. Then I got to go back and get my car where I parked it and then we'll head home. I love the backpacking community. I actually just ran into another viewer and he recognized me. Everybody out here is so incredibly kind. Well, I'm nearing the end of this section hike and man, it has been a wild adventure. <laughs> um, totally unpredictable, absolutely gorgeous very difficult trail there was a lot of uh going one mile an hour um but it's kind of interesting because as wild as the scenery was and it was like the most beautiful that i've seen so far on trail um it didn't feel as wild just because of all the people that were everywhere but um you know i guess that's the trade-off is that if you want to do the white mountains when the weather is slightly better <laughs> which also is debatable, but um, if you want the summertime weather, um, you are gonna give up that piece of solitude. Um, so there's a lot of folks out here, but it's awesome to see that many people out here just enjoying creation and nature. Um, so again, I'm not quite done with the whites. Still have to do uh, the Wildcats and Carters, which was again, supposed to be this trip, but just didn't work out. So the rest of the whites and main are unfortunately probably gonna have to wait till next year because the next time you guys see me on trail will hopefully be this fall where I need to go down and do Georgia and half of North Carolina because I still haven't done that section. Um, <laughs> so I just stay tuned. And um, again, I always appreciate all of you following along with me. Uh, hopefully I got to show you a lot of really beautiful things this week. And as always, I'll see you down the trail.